peace of our lord jesus christ be with you dear friends if somebody insulted my name i get angry and i know that if somebody uh, did not give due respect to your name you also get angry why do you get angry when somebody insults your name why you get angry because we identify ourselves with that name so when somebody insults the name they are insulting us that may be the reason the second commandment where god says do not use my name in vain i will read one paragraph from uh, ccc 2142 second commandment prescribed respect for the lord's name like the rest of commandment it belongs to the virtue of religion and more particularly to governs our use of speech in sacred matter when god gives second commandment use my do not use my name in vain you should not use god's name to curse someone or to bring the curse of god to someone or to give an oath unnecessary or you should not use the name of god in vain thoughtlessly not only that god is intending to teach you and me to watch over our mouth nothing unholiness should come out of our mouth in this regard respecting god's name i think i respect muslims culture little more you know why muslims give due respect to the waqf things you know if anything which is dedicated to god they give due respect to that for example when a muslim want to touch a quran he cannot go and touch it there is a law he must get ablution you know the wulu wulu means he must wash his hand face leg and then only he can go and touch the quran and even if you want to say namaz you know you have to you have to clear up najis from your body najis is totally different you know so anyway whatever it may be what i want to tell you is that you have to give a due respect to the name of god that is something very important and more than this we must know one thing one more meaning is there when we say that do not use the name of god in vain second timothy chapter 2 verses 19 says like this let everyone who names the name of christ depart from iniquity and the same thing we read in romans like for the name of god is blasphemed among the gentiles because of because of you as it is written you see if you want to name jesus or if you want to name adonai or if you want to name elohim or yahweh in another word if you want to take the name of god if you want to pronounce the name of god with your mouth you must keep yourself holy being a sinful man naming it is again using god's name is in vain that's why let everyone those who want to take the name of christ to be holy so why can't you and me make ourselves holy before calling out the name of god in dirt we should not call his name and in the bible there are so many revealed names and exactly if you ask me what is the real name of god i don't know what to say because even moses once asked god what is your name he said i am who i am and i love in that manner the sikhism you know what happened shri guru granth sahib names god as uh, anam the one who is nameless we don't know exactly what is his name but even when we know his name which is revealed by him but it is in the language of human beings so if you ask me what is his name in the language of him i don't know so but one thing i know we got some revealed name in bible from elohim to yahshua yahshua means yahova saves yahweh saves that is jesus so from elohim to yahweh there are so many revealed names in bible you can use any one of that name to god don't use any other god's name for yahweh so never use any other god's name to call out our revealed god and never use our god's name thoughtlessly may almighty god bless you peace be with you